Okay, so most of the stuff on the table is digital. And you can see here, we have a lot of stuff in stock. And a lot of stuff to talk about. If something's analog compatible, I will mention it. Otherwise, just assume it's digital. So right here, we have a narrow section right. And as you can see, the track kind of goes out. And here's a narrow section left where the track goes in. So if you want to have kind of like a chicane, uh, this is the track you need the left. And if you just wanted to, I don't know, have an extra section somewhere, you can have the right. Here are a bunch of controllers. And I actually have more controllers over there. So I was just trying to find space on the table. Uh, these are wired controllers. I'll show the wireless box later. I don't really need to explain too much about those. Controllers will break, get used too much. Here we have some app connects. And as you can see, my app connect supply gets dented. Um, if you're buying a digital set, uh, my advice is to get the app connect right away. You know, some people might want to think about, oh, I'll try before they buy. This is probably the best selling uh, digital accessory. And it doesn't matter how many of these I'll get, they'll always sell out. So that's just something to keep in mind. You want to make sure to get your, your app connect because that's this is essentially your lap timer. Well, it's a cheaper version of lap timer. I'll show you in a second. This is not a digital narrow section. This is the pit lane. I got a whole box of pit lanes. Um, pit lanes can be used not only for fuel simulation, but also for pace cars. If you want to make a multi-lane digital track, people would use to use that, but that's the only way. Don't do that. Here we have... I'm just going to show all the curved lane changes at once. So... Uh, you don't believe it or not, different lane, different versions of these sell differently. Like, I'm um, obviously the right over there will sell better than the lefts, and then even the inside outside will matter. So, a little uh, pro tip for you uh, newbies is this right here will be the outside. Uh, I believe this is yeah out to in. So this is the outside that goes inward. So when you're doing your when you're looking at your control unit. Uh, if you want to. Uh, Better help with these. You're better off using a track planner, like a digital track planner. Ultimate Research 3 is my personal favorite. So here I have two bags of these. So this is the old style brushes, but I will... You don't need to worry about these. I don't think I have these listed. So what, what's the difference between getting a guide blade and a non-guide blade? Well, these ones, the uh, brushes without a guide flag, will... Uh, keep in mind, it's, gonna also, it's probably also going to have a white label. Don't even worry about this, okay? You're not going to accidentally order this. I'm pretty sure I don't even have this on the site. So, these guide flags are good for the 132, 124 cards. And that's what I recommend buying. If you have a 132 or 124 collection, you'd be surprised how quickly these guide flags will file down and start to snap. And it'll happen kind of all at once, especially if you're racing multiple cars at a time. You, you definitely want to have these, because trust me, the day will come. When you're going to be running low. And Career doesn't sell these as like a ton of uh, separate um, guide flags. The guide flags always come with the brushes. So just kill the birds. And otherwise, if you're just running Career Go Cars, your Career Go Cars can't use these um, guide flags. So just get these. Here is some outside borders for the pit lane. You don't actually need these even for 124 because the 124s are going in so, um, so slow. But, you know, they are kind of nice for aesthetic reasons. And for all I know, maybe there is going to be a picky 124. But unless you hit that car that you're finding is going to be skidding and not going in the pit lane too well, you don't really need those. Here's the multi-start lay. This is the new way of doing uh, multiple uh, digital tracks. If you're going to want to make a multiple analog track, there's a different accessory for that. But for the digital tracks, this is what you buy. Make sure to watch my review on the multi-start lane. There's a very important diagram for wiring. And you are going to need some, in my opinion, I would get some jumper cables to go with this. Otherwise, you might find that this lane is slower or even the whole system can't handle it. Here, I've had this since opening day. This is the old school lap counter. And this is actually almost twice as much, if not twice as much, as the App Connect. And the App Connect does more. So, the only reason to get this is if you don't want to deal with smartphones. That's the only reason. Keep in mind, you're not going to be able to use stuff like the check lane. And for all I know, there might be other accessories out in the future. Here's some more controllers that uh, this can't work with. I mean, it's not like the worst system ever. It's just the phone just completely outclasses it. Here's a bunch of single wireless controllers. If you get the wireless set duo, you really only need to buy these separate if you don't mind swapping on the charge pad. Now, obviously, if you plan on having like four or six racers, you're going to have a charge pad for each person. But if you're just ha casually having another person over, you only need 
like one charge pad and you can just swap in between and it does save you some money rather than buying another duo but hey here this is how you're going to race multiple this is how you can race six cars with the wired controllers is um what's this thing called speed controller extension box so it will give you some distance between um drivers one to three and four to six sorry yeah four to six uh, obviously if you want to have some like a lot of room the wireless is the way to go now i i've said in videos i do prefer the wired system i didn't used to uh, but that's only because i have the cable separating everybody now if i didn't have those cables would i still want everything wired it depends if i had uh marshals or not but we're not this is not a discussion video for that and you can look at a review of wired versus wireless here we have some decoder chips yeah guys i got a ton Again, this is a good replacement part if a chip burns out. Uh, also, you can chip older slot cards, but I'm, that voids the warranty. You have to like solder it in. Here are some spare control units. So this is also good for people with the Pro X system that want to um, upgrade. Because if you have the old Pro X wire controllers, they work with this. If you have the old Pro X power supply, they work with this. So at that point, you buy this. You have to upgrade some lane changers. So maybe you get a double lane changer in one single curve or two doubles. And some new cars. And then there you go. And I know it sounds like a lot, and it is, but uh, <laughs> that's a pretty old school system. Uh, the Pro X. Pro X is pretty primitive. I don't think we got a good shot of that last curve over there. So this, I, I, I think there's a way to uh, show this off. Oh, of course, I'm getting this stubborn one. All right, let me see. I can... S there we go. Pop. Yeah, did you know that the wireless controller box will pop open? So you see wireless plus. You see a bit of a mess there. The career ghost stuff's next. That's why it's kind of like that. You can see everything that comes with it. Now, if you have the money and you're going to be running, you know, you, you plan on having your friends over weekly or something, uh, just just do yourself a favor and get the charge pad. Like, this is for if you're just going to casually have extra people. This is if, you know, if you're even worried that maybe it'll start to catch up with your friends, just get that. Getting the charge, you can get these, this thing, like, separate, but it won't come with this track or this. So just, you know, save yourself a headache. Here is the control tower, and it is a pretty big boy. <laughs> no, it's expensive. But actually, you know, this control tower has some newer features that I probably will do a video on later. Well, they're newer to me. I didn't know about them, but I don't think they existed before. You'll see what I mean. Here is the Starlight Bridge. This is pretty much just a countdown. This is like really just an expensive scenery piece. Now, again, you want to have a super pimped out track. And this will work with a four lane digital. If I've, again, I think I've done a review on this. This will work with four lanes. It will work with two lanes. So most people are going to have two lanes. You can see here this two lane setup. But four lanes, uh, these border pieces will pop out. And then you can plug in your late bridge. Actually, you know what? I've been looking like... You know, I'll get into that later. We'll get into that later. Let's go through here. What is in here? Straight shoulders. Okay, so this is for evolution and digital. And I just kind of forgot about them because they're kind of buried. And the nice thing... I, you know, the shoulders might be expensive for the other... For, like, the turns and stuff. But for the straights, they're actually pretty affordable. You're getting six in here instead of the usual, like, you know, however many to cover a curve. And um, this this is pretty easy. So if you're finding... If you have a drifty car, it's, like, drifting around the, a bunch of the corners. Picking up a set of this can really help your problem with that. Here is two boxes of driver displays. But I'm going to show you guys something real quick. This is, again... We're back to digital only. So you'll notice I had three in that box, but I have a box of six. And this is like, see your little business. You need to have six, at least six at all times. Like you probably need more than six. If Let's say somebody had bought all three of these and then another person bought all six. I would literally have to order like two boxes of them because, you know, some people like retirees or maybe people who won the lottery or getting an inheritance, they want to have the best of the best. They come in there and they tell me specifically, I want the best. I want everything on this track. And you're like, okay, well. Um, you need six of these then. Now, the driver's play is actually pretty convenient because it will tell you your position in the race, how many fuel stops up to, I believe, five, and then tell you either your speed if you have gas off or it'll slowly tick down as it's, uh, as you fill up your gas and run out of gas. So, yeah, as you fill up your gas, it goes up, and then you run out of gas, it goes down. Um, 
you know, some people think that the app connects over there, like make this outdated. And the thing is you could only, this will work with the app connect at the same time. So if you put this in an area over the truck that you can't see the TV very well, cause some people like mount the TV to the wall. If you have some people to the back of the room or something, put, get, get a couple of these for the areas you can't see. So not as outdated as you might think. And yeah, this does come with an adapter unit. So keep in mind also that if you're trying to make your track, if you're like missing even a straight piece and you were thinking about, you know, I have one area in the track that somebody can't see the TV too well. Again, ignore prices in this video that could be outdated by the time you see this. Um, getting one of those is a good way, you know, it is the way. So I think there's a bunch of double lane changers. So I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. If you have a huge track all you really need is two double lane changers like if you have a huge little track seriously two double lanes is probably going to be enough because this is what happens either you have a short track where you know you you have to kind of here, here's the thing about these curb lane changers over here guys okay a lot of times some people if you have a, a tight end space you're gonna need like two of those you're gonna need an outside to in and in to out and keep in mind if you have a bridge that your orientation is going to change i'm gonna have to do a video about i'll do a video about that later just keep in mind you should use a track plan to make sure that the cars can switch from one lane to the other but when you get like a big track you know it doesn't matter medium track just double two doubles is enough large track two doubles because of the amount of space between the cars there's more you're gonna get more gaps and then you know it's not like those curve lane changers come in too much handy no i will say you can use single lane changers if you want to use a pace car to go to your pit lane uh here's the shoulders for the digital narrow section so those sections we hit over there here is the crossing so this is another thing i missed so this is for analog as well and this is a bridge and if you're wondering can i put a piece of straight between these two yes you can so you can use straights here let's go i know i know but like i didn't get a good uh so you can do some nice things with these bridges. Now, if you go too fast, your car's going to just like jump over. But uh, those are pretty useful. This is our last box of digital stuff. And these are all check lanes. And check lanes are actually just a popular item in general. Just, you'd be surprised how many of those I'll go through. Check lanes out excitement. So I have some scenery stuff to go through next. You can kind of see some of it in this. There's wire shells back there and the ghost stuff and then the ghost stuff and then we're all done the stock video so if you guys have any questions feel free to ask me remember to keep an eye on sunday dash lot dash card dot square dot site and i'll talk to you soon